So I think the most memorable parts of the screw tape letters for me would be first the confusion that I had at the beginning of the book because I was like I was very confused because I was like I thought this was like God writing this story and then I was like that doesn't really sound like something God would say so that really threw me off. And then some of the other most memorable things I think one of them was the whole the silence thing that you had us do. I think that was really memorable for me because it was like Satan can't Satan inhabits the busyness and all of that in your life and God takes the quiet moments. So that was really memorable for me. And then I think his emphasis on the importance of like the sexualized and all of this part of love that is not true love was interesting for me. And I really thought about that. And then how they were saying like towards the ending how they didn't want him to die because then if he dies that means they lose the battle because he was already saved and it's like so in that moment it was like Satan was trying to keep him alive but God was like yeah this is your time I'm willing to take you because I think like in our lives we look at death as something that Satan brings and Satan is I mean, he's the father of death, and God is the father of life, but there's a time and a season for everything. And so, like, when somebody dies and we're like, this isn't fair, this wasn't their time to go, when in reality that could have been God saving them from themselves, from taking that step and sinning, and then after that, dying and losing that spot in heaven, it could be God saying, I'm taking you now so you don't lose that. So that's really, that was really interesting for me. And then after that, I think it was just the whole concept of it. Because it's like, you don't think about the demons and Satan all conversing together and attacking you from all sides. You really think about it as in, oh, I have this issue. But I think it's the same with God and with angels. It's, they have us gathered all, they're all gathered all around us at all times. They want to protect us. They converse with each other. Like, how are we going to protect this person? And that's, I think that's comforting to look at it in that way. Like, God has arranged angels around us just as much as Satan has put demons around us to try and capture us. So, just as much as there's demons wandering around, there's still angels here to protect us. So, yeah.